<coughs> hey guys, welcome to Baby Session number 86. Um, I made you guys a video last night. Regarding my vaping session, so if you want to go see that, it's it's uploaded. Um, but but yeah, guys, a fan asked me why do I do vaping sessions. They told him on my live stream, and I've also discussed that that, no, that video yesterday night on why I do vaping sessions. You know, and I left out uh, one good reason is that I could spend time with my vaping fans out there. So, yeah. Or, you know, my other fans. You may not vape, but you could listen in, you know, to the conversation that we're having, you know, and stuff like that. And you could chime in. That's what I like about vaping sessions. If you don't vape, you could still talk about the the topics that are being brought up in the video in the comment section down below um that's the other reason why I like doing these vlogs or vaping vlogs call them vaping sessions and everything so but how you guys doing out there if you guys are doing well. I wish I had the money to do a giveaway for you guys. My loyal fans. There's only 35 for you. You know, but... I don't. Fortunately, I don't have the money to go buy... 35 copies of... G of uh, WWE 2K17. I don't. Um, I may get a P.O. box <clears throat> so you guys can send me fan mail. Now you do fan mail type thing. Um, um, if you missed any of my live streams yesterday, go back and check them out because they're awesome. My WWE 2K17 live streams are awesome. It includes the NXT pack or whatever you want to call it. I just call it the NXT pack. But, um, which included. Paolo Cruz, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Nia Jax. You know what I found out? This would actually be cool if they did this. If they brought Shinsuke Nakamura to Friday Night Smackdown or Tuesday or Smackdown Live, um, if they brought him to the roster. It would be cool to see Paolo Cruz and him team up. Because I may do a video on that later. I, I, I don't know. I may do a live stream. So you could see how Paolo Cruz and Shinsuke Nakamura team up. You know? Even though I was controlling the guys, their tag team maneuvers are cool. And it matches up with what Paul Cruz and probably Shinsuke Nakamura would do if they would have a tag team like that. But they'll uh, go off the tag team titles and have a tag team title reign. Because as a, <clears throat> I know Shinsuke Nakamura is the current NXT champion. But if he loses the title, have him come to WWE, the main roster. You know, and to be honest with you guys, 
I'm pulling for Team SmackDown to win. <clears throat> because, well, I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm pulling for him anyways. You never know. The scripts could change. Mr. McMahon, there's been YouTubers saying that Mr. McMahon arranged Raw to win because it's a flagship show. Well, you gotta give SmackDown a chance. They got uh, the up and comer, dude. You know, they got rookies. Dean Ambrose is like a semi veteran. He's been in the company, he's like the longest reigning United States champion in WWE history. As far as I know. They got AJ Styles. <clears throat> he's been, you know, working his way up to WWE. And he's finally in WWE. And he's the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Um, They give people like James Ellsworth Elth Elth a chance. He owns two victories against AJ Styles consecutively. And to be honest with you, people say, there's rumors speculating that James Ellsworth will be beating AJ Styles for the World Heavyweight Championship quite soon. I don't know how soon that is, at the Royal Rumble or something. Or is James Ellsworth going to win the whole entire Royal Rumble by eliminating Dean Ambrose or something? You know, it won't be a fair thing, so it doesn't seem like they're just targeting Roman Reigns, because last year, they had um, Roman Reigns defending the championship against 29 other men. What if a woman wins that? Because there are women, sometimes in the Royal Rumble. Sasha Banks wants to be in the Royal Rumble. You know, that would be cool. First WWE Women's uh, World Heavyweight Champion or in the Women's Division winning the World Championship or the Universal Championship. And uh, you know what I would like for them to bring back? is the Undisputed Championship, where the Undisputed Champion goes from Raw and SmackDown. So they both have a top champion. You know, they had that for a while, and then they got the World Heavyweight Championship on Raw, and WWE Championship on SmackDown. That was years ago. Then the brand split ended there. And they combined the two, two shows in the one which made them more interesting. More feuds, you know, and more title changes. You know, um, and it wasn't like the matches were repeating itself when before the brand split happened again. He had a couple good matches with like AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. That, that was a good feud going on. You know, um... It, it just, like... It's kind of funny. The Dudley boys retired, like... <coughs> after the brand split. They were put on Monday Night Raw together. It's kind of funny how it was unfair, like, they didn't keep the Wyatt family together. Well, they technically did, but they didn't draft Braun Strowman. <coughs> well, the New Day was eligible to be drafted together. You know, um... Like... SmackDown didn't really have a general manager or a leader. You 
you know, but then they had the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and it's still WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and then Raw has the Universal Championship, which, like, Four titles are the same, but different colors. The women's championship is smaller, but still same design as the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. To me, it's kind of redundant, it's kind of boring. Seeing the same exact championship with the just different color. Like they could have had, they could have brought back the. Um, women's championship for Raw. That's at least a different design. You know. Like the Cruiserweight Championship. Do something like that. To the World Heavyweight Championship on Raw. You know. And not just have the. Universal Championship. Like Universal. In my opinion guys. Universal means. They go anywhere, like Raw and SmackDown. You know, um, like <clears throat> any company could take that belt or any brand. But it's not. It's on Raw. You know, um... Like... In his plan that... The Cruiserweight division is going to go... To Raw. To SmackDown. And SmackDown loses the Intercontinental Championship to Raw. So, I don't know. You know, but my opinion is that they should get rid of the WWE Universal Championship and bring back a different design title. Not that roll-up title or whatever you want to call it. Twizzler or whatnot. There's different names people are giving it. But why would you give it to someone like... Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens was just basically handed the title by Triple H. It looked like either Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins was going to win. It was down to three people. Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. Not only did... Triple H pedigree Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins pinned Roman and you had Triple H acting like he was gonna pedigree Kevin Owens but then he turned around and pedigreed uh, freaking uh, Seth Rollins you know that don't make the world of sense you give a guy a title. SmackDown doesn't do that. That's why I like SmackDown better. Raw just hands his titles out. You know, let things slide like Jericho running in to help Kevin Owens in the Hell in a Cell. In my opinion, if Jericho did not Interfere in that match, Seth Rollins would be the WWE Universal Champion. But <clears throat> I think I think there's a, a Shelton Benjamin's gonna come back. <clears throat> the only world title I think he's held is the ECW Championship. But, 
you know, I think they should give, like, <clears throat> make the superstars earn championships. Like, to restart, like, <clears throat> vacate the titles. Okay. And have two separate Royal Rumbles. You know, one's for the Universal Championship, and one's for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. That's what I would do after the brand split. You know, because we're of some type of tournament to decide who's the champion. You know, and it give people a shot at the title. <clears throat> like Neville. For example, guys, Neville was the NXT champion for a while. You know what I noticed? Most of the NXT champions were actually a WWE World Heavyweight Champion or Universal Champion. So, I'll see you guys later.